Hello again folks and welcome back to the channel. You've joined me mid vlog, mid moto vlog. So um, we're heading to a bit of a recon. I'm looking for somewhere to make my next video. Um, if you're wondering why, oh, that's rough ground there. I'll shake a bit of sense into you. Yeah, I really need to get a pin lock visor on this helmet because as soon as I come to the end of the road and I'm talking to you, it steams up straight away and it's barely visible. You can hardly see anything. But yeah, well, where did I get to there? Yeah, I'm talking the way I'm talking because it's a new helmet and the pattern is so tight on my face, it's squashing my cheeks together. The way you'd grab like a, a child's cheeks and squeeze it together and make a funny face. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm talking there and talking. So I need to try and flatten down this pattern, so it's better for these sort of uh, motor vlogs. Um, we're going to head to Glenorris and see if there's anywhere up around that part of the world. And if we've still got time, we will head to um, move along the coast. Depends what time we've got because I need to get back. Three of my life there, eh? always hard to get back. That's the joys, isn't it? We are doing this vlog on a shoestring, as a, a person would say. Use an old cheap um, lapel mic and um, my chest mount and my phone. Um, obviously, if you like these videos and these videos take off, you'll watch some more. We will invest in the good old helmet setup. You see them all the, the proper vloggers um, using. With the GoPro or um, the Sony or whatever strapped to the side, top or bottom or chin. Right, let me see. Where am I going here? I'm too busy talking here. I don't know where I'm going. So at least you get a bit of a, a scenic view around. So we'll... We'll skip on here for a wee bit till I, I probably went the worst possible way I could have went. Anyway, so we'll, um, I'll talk to you for another minute or two here and then we'll maybe put it on to hyperdrive and um, let you enjoy the scenery. Oh, I should have went there, the learner. It's turned then. Not so bad. Oh yeah, I don't know, if I, if I see what the bike is yet? If he's turning, okay, good stuff. So we are on a Benelli TNT 125cc motorcycle. Um, I've been had my eye on this little bike for a long time. A great addition to the channel. For a moto camping, a different chapter, you know, to spice things up a bit, get um, out of the whole um, stealth camping, you know, box, you're not stuck in it, can uh, do other things. Um, good old bike. The one thing I would like done it would have been a gear selector, 10 more gears in, but just had to get used to knowing what revs and stuff and that. But um, yeah, right. I think that is what we'll, we're just going to hyperdrive now probably and um, give us a better look at the scenery and when we get a bit closer to our destination we'll go back into normal mode. Off we go, hyper!
Well, of course, knowing us, we drove straight into the rain. Um, you probably can't see right now. I can't get stopped here to see what the lens is like, but I'll give it a clean down in a second. Yeah, so we're here now at the Narif uh, Forest Park. I'm just going to see if there's anywhere sort of like we could do a bit of a wee bit of a camp, a wee bit of a motor camp. I don't know. Um, it is a uh, you know we get a lot of walkers and runners and all and all and around here, so it's maybe a no go. But I thought I'll come and have a look at it. I'm actually going to go up into the park, I'm going to go down to this lay-by down here I think you'd pay to park up in there If I remember correctly, but Down to this lay-by, I'll clean off the camera lens and We'll take it from there Where is it? It's ah, one down, it's one down That squeak. You get that looked into. Don't like that. Of course, I haven't got a hanky wrap with me to clean my lens. Oh, typical me, isn't it? Hopefully that is a bit better. Hello! So we've been recording for 31 minutes here. Well, you'll not be watching that one at the time. Okay, so I think I'll scoot on down a bit. And there's a hard, like a hard right hand turn, and I think there's a walk up in there. We're going to go and check out and see if anything are up in there. If not, we'll turn and we'll come back and we'll make a quick scope into the actual forest park itself, but we'll not, we'll not park there. Just to have a look and see. And um, we'll maybe brew ourselves a wee coffee if we can um, dodge this rain long enough. But um, let's get back on the go for the heavens open. Of course, the race started. Oh no, it just wasn't meant to be, folks. It wasn't meant to be. See, so having it down underneath the tree can't be down here anyway. There's definitely a squeaking noise coming from that. This, this leg has to go in for its um, 500 mile service anyway. We're at 130, we'll, we'll let them know of any little problems. We come across the windy we rode this. Hear that? I think that's brakes. The here was where I wanted to go up in. a bit of a look around. This is a really nice um, area up here. There is like big waterfalls and that um, over in the main, the main like sort of park if you want to call it. Nosy people. Let's go up here we skip. don't want to leave the bike for too long and walk too far from it just in case hey you can see tire tracks there so what would you say that is tractor or quad or
I always drove past this, but I never went up. Never been up here before. I always was curious to see it was up here. You know, I could get a bike up here. When I came to it. Obviously, we had for it to dry it a bit, so that wasn't so mucky, but I could get up here. I think it's much privacy to get up here. Chris has walked all the time daily with dog walkers and that. Yeah, I wouldn't really want to go any further than this with the bike. So, possibly up in there for a, a camp. Park in the car and come, but not with the bike. So here, sort of, really as far as you can get with the bike. And I'm confident that people wouldn't up here bother me, being so close to the road. No, I'm not so confident. So I think this is a no-go for Moto camping. So I'll go back down onto the bike and move on and see what else we can see. Okay guys, so as you can see here the rain is on. And this little camp, this little setup I've got here, the phone. Well the phone is waterproof, the problem is the water gets under the lens and you can't see anything. So I'm gonna head it back up. I'll go actually go up into the main forest car park thing and just see what's up there and then if the rain hasn't stopped then I'm going to turn these off and I'll bring these back when I'm further on down the road um, at the next point of interest let's do that I think that's a plan you need to be careful because there's a lot of muck on the way there's nice up there I hope no tents allowed. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we'll see about that. Somewhere just like that. We're perfect. Just pull the bike up, take the picnic table, and uh, full tent up. But that's not going to happen, right? This weather is unbelievable. So I am going to. Um, Cut these off here, folks, and um, I'm going to try and drive the opposite direction of this rain and get out of it. Yeah, so I uh, had to take you off the microphone there, so I hope you can hear me. Yep, yep, so if you can see down that direction how bad it is, it's really bad and it's getting, it's getting worse and worse. We're not heading that way, and that's, I can't even see the coast anymore. So we're going to head back that way. We look over to my right there, it doesn't look too hot either, but tell you what we'll do. We'll head over that direction and um, we'll see what it's like. If we can get a wee spot in the forest, we'll um, throw a tarp up and um, brew up a wee coffee. And um, at the end of the day, it's a motor vlog anyway, so that's what it was all about. I just got the bike on the bike and um, the bit of the recon side of things was just a bit of an extra. So. I'll be at the first motor vlog at least. How interesting it is, you be the, the judge of that. Oh yeah, the, the speedometer on this bike is way off. It uh, makes everything way faster than it really is. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, like, it was like five, ten, between 5 and 10 miles an hour extra on the, on the thing, so we need to try and get that calibrated. And there is a way you can calibrate it, there's like some code you put in. Don't you polite, don't do it mate, don't do it. Good lad, good lad. So you have to watch for an see bikes, people just pull it on you. They don't realise it's just not as easy for a bike to stop, you know. A hard a hard stop and swerve for a bike could mean the difference you've been off and wrecked as a car, you know, you might just get a bit, but you will come to stop a bike, you know, hard, if you had hit stop suddenly and, and you're surprised and you swerve and you're off the bike like. And um, the bike's wrecked and you're wrecked.
I don't know where the hell this has taken me. This reminds me more like a farmer's field. Like a, like a, not a farmer's field, a farmer's lane, sorry. Uh, this is where the map wants to go. I'm just hoping it'll come out onto a main road at some point. I don't want to have to go all the way back down this. And we've come to a dead end. Would you believe it? I would, because it's been a disaster of a day. I don't know if you can see that. Um, if you can't see that, I'll point down my chest down. But it, as you can see there, as I can see there, it's wanting to take me on a 1.2 mile up this here. But we've got this Oxfall now. Now, I'm not going to open that gate. Because um, there's a car back there parked. <sighs> what did I? I don't want to open that gate. Did I just open the gate, guys? Oh, no, that's... If I do that, that is trespassing, like, isn't it? There's no gates on a public road. We'll just have to go there back down. How far did I come up this road? Can you mind? I think I was on this for a brief while. And there's a farm there. So this must be a farm. He probably could have went put through there at some point, but God knows when that last map thing was updated. And maybe you can get through, but um, you have to um, open that gate and endure the the off lane, the off road, off roading for another while. But it's like a venture bike. This is up on the pegs and all the guys. Change of plans again, folks! So I'm not bothering. Uh, more ahead up into the, the higher ground, the worse the weather gets, so trying to get back down over here again. We're heading back towards the home country, and we're going to try to look for like a bridge or something or something to get under. See on that, we're going to go to a bloody petrol station and buy a coffee! That's what we're going to have to do. That would be the handiest way to do that. That'd be the easiest way. That'd be the most sensible way. Got cracking out gas stoves and boiling water at the side of the road. But look at this now. I'm going to keep this going there for a minute. Well, you probably can't see. And I don't know if you can see or not, but probably. Um, probably can't see because of the raindrops, but I'm going to keep this there for a second just to go down here. I'm going to talk about a crap tea. That's just here at this corner where. She sort of like revved out herself there, which concerned me. We're going back down onto the somewhat main road. Wouldn't call it main road, but the, a lot meaner compared to the thing we were on the minute ago there. But here, it's not all a complete field because we got to get out for a bit of a ride at the end of the day. That's the fun part, out on a little bike. Just getting around, putting the miles up on. We have 143 miles on our night so far. Once we get to 500 miles, we'll take her in for our first service. And as, as long as that doesn't <coughs> persist to do that revving out I did there, I'll hold off, I think, probably until then. Yeah, the motor vlogs you watch there a lot of times, especially UK ones. They're always miserable, aren't they? The weather. Our weather, like. This is August. It's out of August. And look at our, look at it. It's just pure grey. We'll stop here for like a second and then. We'll head on down to that bridge that we made. The geo guessing. There's somebody looking in. I'll have to move. See? 
the joys of the biking in Northern Ireland. Rain, rain, then when the rain's finished, what do you get? Drop more rain. Yeah, we're just going to have to suck it up and um, head back to the wee bridge we came through. We've done the geocaching video not so long ago. And we'll make a wee brew. I'll see you closer to the closer to the, um, the bridge. Busy road, this as you can tell, cars up and down steady, and then the echo blow of the um, bridge doesn't help any. So, a little bike, a good few miles along this morning there. There's some um, not too pleasant conditions. Some well, a couple of weeks even probably look into that squeak noise and why that revved out that time. Um, other than that. I'm gonna brew myself here coffee and um, relax for a minute and then go over to the the madhouse. So um, you've seen me make coffees uh, a million times, so I'm not gonna make you sit and watch that. So I'm going to get that on the go, and um, I'll just see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, and um, see you later, guys.